Hi everyone, Andy here. In this video I will present my year-long project to you. I was at the flea market where I had the luck to find the nastiest PlayStation 2 for 2.5 euros or 3 dollars, as you please. Take a good look at it. Broken casing and missing parts, and on top of that, it's filthy. There was a note sticked on the top cover at some point in time. There is some kind of sticky black stuff on it, I don't even want to know what it is. I need to use some glass for this. As you can see the warranty sticker is broken and the casing has a strange gap at that part. The sticker is also busted for the serial number and the expansion bay cover is missing. The bottom of the PS2 is pretty rough, deep scratches and for some reason it has a whitish discoloration to it, also it's missing one rubber feet. The cover for the disk drive is also missing and has a deep scratch. The little vents are also bent and broken here and the console doesn't have a single healthy corner on it. The memory card slot doors are working fine, some of all things. See, the whole upper corner is missing, this is sad. Strange, the light for the eject button is not lighting up. Is this French? It looks like French. Okay. Change it to English. Where is it? It was the... Anglis one? Anglis. Okay, I found it. The disk drive is completely busted. It refuses to give any signs of life. Okay, I had enough. I turn it off gently. Now, let me explain my plan. As you may know, the internet is full of fake restoration videos at the moment. They purposely smudge up consoles and other electronics with mud and other stuff. Then they hide it in a trash pile near the road. After that they magically find it and lie about fixing it. I will test their theory with this PS2. Where is the screw? I want my money back. I'm putting this PlayStation 2 on the top of our shed for one year and I will post daily pictures of it on my Instagram. After the one year time period we will open it up and check it out. Maybe we will turn it on. If it will be broken, which is likely, then I will try to fix it, if it's possible. I think it will be an eye opener. For sure. On a side note, I also want to find out more about this crud, so I will put a game in a disk drive. Pretty fascinating. It looks decent on the inside. And now I take down this cover, then we can put a game inside for the one year this console spends out on the roof. What is this? It 
It's a burned FIFA copy. Why? Whoops, it slipped. So I have this copy of the bully. It's my worst condition disc that is still working. I will sacrifice this for a one year test. It's pretty bad. I think the disc will have a hard time out in the open. Now I'm leaving my mark here, like Zoro. Somebody cleaned the upper part of the shielding, but the hardcore dust and field is all under there. I'm only cleaning the top part with some IPA. I want it to look good on the pictures that I'm posting. I think it's ready for its journey. And now I will show you the place. I want to make sure that it will stay one place for the whole 365 days, so I will tie it down. Where is it? Found it! Ha! As I said before, this is the place where it will spend the whole year. I will post daily pictures of it on my Instagram, which is linked in the description of this video. Wish luck for this PS2 and share your thoughts with me in the comments. Take care and consider subscribing to my channel, I upload some interesting videos. Bye!